I'm Mike and welcome back to my new YouTube channel NC Woodworker. As you know, one of my hobbies is woodworking. I have another hobby too and it's collecting bottle openers. Not just ordinary bottle openers, I collect vintage bottle openers. As you can see, I have a few samples here of, of my wood I use to make these bottle openers. Over the years, I've probably made 75, maybe even more than that, of these, of these bottle openers using these wood handles. Uh, to give you an example here of what I've done here is one here's a two-tone one with uh, with a purple heart and looks like a mahogany and here's just a, re a regular mahogany here's a here's a koa wood there's a purple heart on both sides I buy these uh, bottle openers uh, either at flea markets or on uh, eBay uh, you can usually buy, sometimes you can buy them in bulk, get 10 or 15 of them and they're worth 4 or $5 a piece, or you can buy them in, individually for a little bit more than that. And sometimes when you buy them, uh, there's a lot of corrosion on them. Uh, back in the day, they didn't have the stainless steel, so they're steel, so there's a lot of rust on them. But stainless steel ones can even get corroded and, and they kind of kind of looking bad. But that's okay. If I get one of those, I just use this, get a, a steel brush like this one right here, a spiral steel brush, and attach it to my drill. And you can just go over it like this so for a little while, and this cleans them up really nice. These are really great for giving to friends and family. That's that's what I'm mainly making them for, is to give away. Um, because uh, see the expression on, on your friends or family's face when you hand them one of these things, because they're really cool and neat and unique, and, and everybody can use a bottle opener. And these are really good for just Keep it putting in your pocket and carrying around or keep it in your drawer. Another way you can use these is uh, if um, you don't want to carry around your pocket, you can super glue a magnet on here and uh, hang, them on, hang them on your refrigerator. Okay, let's show you where I'm at right now. I've already traced the outline of both the uh, African teak and the koa wood to the handle. I like to place the handle comp to compare to the bottle opener at three eighths of an inch. I don't know if you can see that very well or not, but the but the distance between the end of the claw and the handle should be three eighths of an inch. This will allow plenty of room for the bottle opener and the bottle to work together and be able to open. The actual big size is 1564, so that will fit through the through this hole uh, properly. So it's just short of a quarter of an inch. So I like to keep the piece clamped to the uh, to the bottle opener while I make this hole so I know it'll, it'll be exactly in place. Now on the scroll stop, I'm gonna cut the figure S out. And now for the koa wood, I soak the purple heart veneer in water and let it, and I turn the microwave on to about, about one hour for one minute. And this African teak is very palatable now. And I can just stick it in here like so. And with the aid of the screwdriver, I can put that right in here like it's also so I know the holes are lined up and what is lined up so I'm gonna clamp this together for an hour or two I guess and let that veneer wood dry because I'm not really sure how that veneer will adhere to the wood glue being so wet so I'll let it dry and then I'll know that the uh, wood glue will work uh, very well on the uh, gluing this together. So that's a dry run, and I'm gonna let this let this sit for an hour or two, and then I'll come back and we'll glue it all together.
wood glue last night on this piece that has the inlay and let it harden overnight. So there's a nice bond here between the uh, inlay and the koa wood. I'll let you notice here that has a, the curve here is just continuous within the handle on both sides. So I like to orient the inlay that way instead of the opposite way. The epoxy I use is a BSI slow cure. It's a 30 minute. It does take about 30 minutes to cure, but it takes a couple hours for it to be completely dry where you, it's not sticky anymore and you can sand the material. So I'll go ahead and add the epoxy to these. Let's sit for a few hours. That line here in white, the pattern of the bottle opener. I'm over here at the scroll saw and I'll cut it with a scroll saw. I'll just cut around the edges here on the outside and that'll remove most of the epoxy waste that's on the sides here. I double taped the metal part of the bottle opener with painter's tape just so I won't get it scratched up. I got 120 grit sandpaper on the sander. And that's gonna be uh, fairly aggressive, but not too aggressive just to be able to take off uh, this excess wood around the bottle opener. I'll probably have to move it up a couple <clears throat> finer grits as we go. is much softer so it only took three minutes maybe to do all this and uh but i did highlight some areas here that uh the epoxy stuck on here that i couldn't get out of these little crevices and that does happen sometimes so i just go back with a little razor blade and dig that out and then go back and touch it up with the uh with a block sander and one other thing i like to do with this wood here is uh it's nice that like in this uh, purple heart one right here, I have a little and thumb indention right here. So it gives it a little thumb, a little bit of leverage when you're popping off the bottle top, bottle cap. So, And it's really easy to do. If you don't have a, a spindle sandal like I have, you can just, just sand it by hand right there, you know, curl up the sandpaper and, and scrape it in like this. But with this right here, I was able to just turn the uh, spindle sand on, on both sides. Kind of mark here where the, where the, um, with the uh, pencil. And you can see it makes a nice little indention there. So when you are popping off the bottle cap, it makes it a little bit easier. So that's another little thing I like to do with these. The oil soaked in overnight, so I know that these handles are well soaked in uh, oil and preserve them for a long, long time. So now I'm gonna seal them with this death polyurethane, clear satin, uh, just to give it added protection and to uh, seal the, uh, seal the um, handles in really good. It just takes a little bit here. And this also helps with the uh, adding a nice color and sheen to the uh, to the handle. So you get a nice, uh, very nice color. This this is fast drying, so I'll be able to put another uh, coat on here and just. Uh, 30 minutes or so. See, it just makes the wood pop a little bit more. Makes it look really nice here. I apply it with a sponge applicator just so it won't leave any brush streaks in there. I'll let that sit and dry for a few minutes. 
And I put one more coat on and then the uh, making of the handles for these vintage bottle openers will be complete.